Hi, this is Joe Massetti. I'm here with Shane Lowe to talk about his new movie, Shane Lowe's Rocket Dog. Shane, tell me about your movie. Well, Shane Lowe's Rocket Dog is a series of comic books as well as an episodic movie. Shane, tell me about how you came up with this idea. One night I had a dream and I was in a war room with a bunch of colonels and there was a colonel walking back and forth and he was screaming about, that dog shot down my best pilot. And, and I jumped up and said, a dog flying a jet? That sounds ridiculous. Well, the square-jawed colonel got in my face and he goes, do you know where the term dog fighting comes from? Did you know a dog was first in space? Well, that dog landed here. And he touches a map. Professor Stuckham's laboratory. Well, by the time I woke up, I had a full movie in my head. I mean, it was like I saw Jaws or Star Wars or something. I mean, it was like that real. Right, right. Okay, so you have this dream. Yeah. Then what? Well, then I had to make a jet. So I woke up in the morning and I got tape and paper and I made a jet and I had to train the dog to get in it. And then I had to make the jet take off, fly, and land. And then I knew if I could do that, that I could put this movie together. Well, once I jumped that hurdle, in my movie there's a, a dog fight scene. It's the best part of my movie. Well, to get that, I needed some aerial shots over the ocean because that's where the dog fight takes place. Well, what I did was I got a styrofoam plane and I cut the nose off it and I put a GoPro camera on it wow. and I flew it out over the ocean. And that's how I got my dogfight scenes. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. How, how long did it take you to complete what you wanted I've been to working do? on this movie for five years. Now that might sound like a long time, but I'm all alone in it. Um, and I, would, I had a regular job, so when I'd get home from my regular job, I'd work on Rocket Dog. Um, the difficult part really was I didn't have any actors, you know, I didn't have any crew, I didn't have a studio, I filmed this in my garage. Um, I created a character called Professor Stuckum. He has a laboratory at JPL in Pasadena, and I play him. And then I created another character named Nigel Fogg, he's the greatest pilot to ever fly, and he hates the dog, he's totally jealous of him because they, they say the dog's the greatest pilot to ever fly. There's another character called uh, Colonel Brooks, and that's played by Craig Cast. Did a fantastic job, carried my movie. Johnny Reno plays like five characters in my movie. Another fantastic job. Michael and Adam Pryor. Uh, when do you think um, the actual release date could possibly be for this film? My movie will be released on September 1st. Now that's only a little more than 30 days away. But once I release my trailers and my movie, and everything that goes with it, I believe that somebody's going to try and copy it. So that's why I just didn't make a trailer or give them a script or something like that. They'd, no thanks, and next thing you know I see the movie on the screen. I had to make the complete movie, that way nobody could copy it. What exactly is your goal? My goal is just to have a studio like Universal bring me in for a 15 or 20 minute, let me do a mind dump, let me tell them everything about it. All those <clears throat> the different, I have tens of stories that go with this. And there's so much that I am not telling you mm -hmm. because I don't want to spill my barrel, you know. I want to sure. hold some back, you know. Um, but that's my goal is to have a studio just take a look at it. My dream is to see this movie on a big screen. Right. So can you anticipate possibly this being a series? I just see it as a movie, you know, like... You know, a movie and then the next movie and part two and three and four and it just keeps going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, say a studio uh, is interested, do you have any partners or investors that... I don't. I have one investor for 25000 That's his payoff. And once I pay him off, then he's out. So, no, they, they would just deal with me alone. And I'll practically give it away. I want to see it on the big screen. I'm, mm -hmm. I, this isn't about the money. It's not about, I mean, I could enter the film festival and get some recognition. I'm not looking for any of that. I just believe that this movie could be a future blockbuster. But it sounds like incredible hard work of what you've gone through to put this together and, and getting everything edited and, and so forth. Yeah, see, that, that's just it. I'm not an editor. I never edited anything in my life. I'm not a cameraman. I'm not, you know, I just basically learned all of this, you know, from the music to the even the acting. See, most of the scenes I'm acting and I wrote the script and I'm the cameraman. Like right now, I'm the cameraman. Right. You know, this is how I filmed it. You know, it was just me solo doing, you know. Right, right. Just. And I think that, that that shows to the ability that you have to 
you know, be able to do multitasking within the whole movie. This was great to um, talk to you about the movie. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Great. Well, I'm going to show you my dream. And right now, I'd like to introduce everybody to Shane Lowe's Rocket Dog. I hope you like it. <laughs>